Hey folks, how y'all doing today? This is a video of my new panels that I, that I installed. I put 560 watts uh, more Kyocera solar panels up here on, on my roof. Now I have a total of 2,170 watts or 2.170 kilowatts. Alright, here is my new solar panels. Here's me. Hey. How you doing? <laughs> but anyway, here you go, y'all. I'll get get to business. I installed these units. There's four of them. And these are the Blue Cell Kyoceras. And they're the, I think, KDLFBS. And they got the, uh, and I installed these on a, uh, these are 140 waters. And these are these are this is the Iron Ridge Iron Ridge XRS system. I hope I'm saying it right. But these are the bomb. And they got little clips right here. Right there. They're going between the panels. And this is December the twelfth. Or twelve twelve twelve. December 12, 2012. But these are awesome. Clean looking set. But I got enough power now on uh, with 14 to 1500 watts of wind. And 2170 watts of uh, solar. I have right now I have 1, 2, 3, 4. Six and four is ten and twelve curaceros and I have four total uh that's two one hundred forty watt UL solar solar panels and up on the back side I got some more uh UL solars. <coughs> but yeah, this is awesome. Show you all what I did. Here's all my my wiring. They coming down here. My ground come from my solar rack and panels. And here's my midnight solar NPV3 uh, charge controller. I mean uh, solar combiner box photovoltaic photovoltaic uh, solar combiner box with breakers in it. And here's my midnight solar surge protector, and with the light on, so you're just working and all that good stuff. All right, <clears throat> let's go around here. I'll show you what else is going on here. We'll get a shot from a, a distance. But yeah, look, that, that is all my boxes that I got from uh, all my toys and all that good stuff. Yep. Something else. All right, we'll, we'll show you this stuff from a, from a distance. And I can't go into everything in detail today. It's kind of a short video, but that's another solar panel I put up from a off-grid system. And I got all my little solar panels grounded. And there's my other midnight solar MPV6 box. Um, everything's grounded. As you see, going down there, and here is my other solar combiner box MPV6, 1600 watts. All right, but here we go. I'll show you some, what's going on. But I got my solar panels now set at a 30 degree angle for here in Virginia, and here they are. They're set at 30 degrees. And here's the angles of them. We'll get back here. I'm going to show you some more. Oh, yeah. 30 degree, 30 degree angle. Pitch for this time of year, December. Shortest time of the year. 
shorts daylight anyway. And those are my new panels. Right here. Yeah, I love them. But yeah, I had to buy more solar panels, so uh, get that 30% tax credit this year. That really comes in handy, plus you're making power. And I love having power when the power is out. Alright, let's go inside and see what I did. Excuse me. I bet you I did on every video. Huh. Take you inside for see who else what I did new inside on the system. There's old Frosty the Snowman. He's down right now. And there's Santa Claus in the front. Yeah. And there's my broccoli, my collard greens, my spinach, and my uh, other stuff growing. Collards, kale, broccoli, and collards. Excuse me. All right. There's a woman here. Hope this camera doesn't fog up. All right, here we go. This is what we got so far on my system. This is my new Outback Flex Max 80. Um, here she is, what she's doing. I had to shut the whole system down because I was putting in breakers and all that good stuff. This thing is bad. It tells you a little bit of everything, what's going on and what we made today. Here's my Outback, little big baby, big baby box, it's called. And there's my Outback Hub. Outback Hub 4. Well, my, that way the hub can talk to the mate and to the and to the and also to the outback GTFX twenty five twenty four. They can all talk to one another now. And that little little cleaner wiring job there. I learned a lot by watching all y'all folks and see how y'all do everything. And here she is. Also installed a new amp meter. From a win. That is a. Get that out of the way. That is a. Oop. Let me go back here. That is a Blue Seas system. It's a. Let's see what it's called here. It's a 8236 DC ammeter. I think it's tough. And it's made in USA. And you can adjust the dimness of it. And it's wild. And you can even shut it off to save power. Or there you go. And it's read it, reading a negative point one right now, but oh well. It's still doing good. But if I dim it all the way down. I'll read, I'll read a zero, which is cool. I sold my other one on eBay. Anyway, here's how everything works, but I'll show you how I got my wiring done. This is going to the from batteries right here, and it says battery Flex Max 80 disconnect, and my wiring's going through here, going through here where I used to have my battery switch. And all my wiring is back here now. Oh yeah, a little cleaner job. Coming through there. Coming through here. It just makes a lot neater job. And that's just my extra battery uh, sense cables. But yeah, it don't seem to be doing pretty good. And I just close this up. I'll probably screw it down for the time being. Anyway, that's my new system. I had to get a new charge controller because my other one was all topped out. 
at 24 volts at 24 volts all right right now we're, we're floating at 24 volts uh this bad boy is topped out to 1600 watts and i got uh, 1610 at it but anyway i had to s switch up anyway that's the video of my new system this is k and i, I like this new sticker by midnight it's pretty cool oh it says high voltage has a potential to kill you be safe ain't that the truth yeah be safe around all this good stuff all right thank y'all for watching Y'all, thank y'all for subscribing. Please subscribe. And all the get store. I should get all my stuff there. Thanks, family. Muns, have a good one. All right, y'all. This is KVUSMC with my Outback system. Let's see if I get the same to work right. Whoa, that's scary. Anyway. Got my Outback Power hat on. Alright. That's a salute to Outback Power Systems. And now we're going to put on my other hat. My other favorite company. Woo! Kira Sierra. How's that look? I got it on right? Oh, yeah. I think so. Anyway, Kira Sarah. Alright, y'all. Y'all have a great one. Thank you for watching. And this is uh, my new system by Kenny, KBUSNZ, or Virelocity. Thank y'all for watching. Alright, y'all have a good one. Alright, bye bye.